Here's your first sign of proof that I never smiled in a picture again. Mm. Yep. Mm. Joe and Danny looking down. I don't know what's going on. It's like starting to, starting to the smiles were starting to fade. Starting to float away. Yes. John's like, come on, Joe. And Joe's like, I don't know. Danny's uh, he's out of it. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm hanging on. I still have some. I still have braces on there. I think. <laughs> Just hanging on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember how excited we were talking about hanging tough? <laughs> you could get with the, the vibe for this one. Yeah. But, however, though, there were we did. There were some great songs, mm -hmm. and we we you know. Everybody, I, I talked to a DJ, like, when you're in the inside, you don't really, you know, obviously see it from the outside, so, uh, a DJ was talking about how Hang It Up was so huge, you know, we had like seven top ten hits, and people, uh, a radio station stole, somehow got a copy of this and played the whole album, you know, the night before or whatever, but I guess when you look at it, after all those hits, everybody's waiting for, are they gonna, you know, had the sophomore slump, even though it was our third album, and uh, but our you know next big record and uh, our first single is fire. It's fire. I remember, but we did this album on the road. We started doing recording this album in hotel rooms, and um, you know I think it's part of the story. But I remember we were playing. Um, we were playing uh, at the uh, Universal Amphitheater. And you, did, you recorded it in, in LA, and Jordan did the leads, and I remember you were excited about it, but it wasn't, you know, Hangin' Tough was like, we were together every day. We were like rolling every day together, everything we like did together. This album was like all done in piecemeal. So it was like, it just didn't have the same energy. I mean, it would have the same, it had a lot of the same stuff, but it was just, you know, we were so big at the time, you know, it wasn't exactly the same, which is kind of a bummer to, to hear sometimes. It's not a bummer because we get to tell this story so many years later and, and know that what kept us together was the love we had for each other and we knew that we came where we came from and we never sold each other out and we always knew what we went through together. And, and it makes it so much more special. But every group goes goes through ups and downs, even when it seems on paper that everything is wonderful. It, it isn't, you know, we were growing up, we were kids, so anyways, but back to the <laughs> It's a big but. But it's a big it but. was, because it was an awesome record. It was an amazing record. And it's a big but. And, uh, hey, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. I'll show you tonight. This album, though, came out and went to number one. And the first single went to number one. And it was uh, maybe the first time, or one of the first times, uh, any band in history debuted at both. And we did it. We unseated MC Hammer. The world was changing, the music was changing, and grunge was coming, but we weren't giving up. And neither were you. Oh, baby. 